feel really good. I don't have any struggles. I don't avoid any words. I just say what I have to say while I follow what I have learned and it goes really easy. This is a success story about a magical transformation of our student from a severe stutterer into a confident, fluent speaker. We promise to Paul to minimize the amount of his stuttered speech displayed in the before part of this video report. Please enjoy watching a few selected moments as his speech patterns slowly transform during the first 15 minutes of the class. Note how his speaking is changing as he is learning and beginning to follow the natural rules for speech. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what is nejus. <sighs> okay, so uh, architectural perspectives. Going back to our example, although security is uh, Cleverly important, uh, represent, representing it in our. Yeah, yeah well, I j just basically wanted to make things more clear. So, as far as I understood, I shouldn't try to to to, for example, speak a word and, and until I'm 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 clear. I, I clearly know what this word is because now I just try to say a word, but I haven't even read it fully. I just try to say apart. Mm. Maybe you, you can t t t translate me yeah. one more than rule number two. Just <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I understood what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So mm, I've been stuttering since uh, three years old, or about that time I started. Uh, my parents say that is this was due to um, that I was scared at some time, but I am not sure whether that is right or not. Um, so um, I've been stuttering in my high school, and during some moments my speech has improved or 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 not. Um, so, as I said, uh, I stuttered quite a lot in my high school. Uh, also, I followed some programs, which might have helped me for some time. But after some time, it always came back. And especially when I joined the university, then it uh, went back really hard, uh, because there was some pressure. and. Well, but still in the university it was not the biggest problem. The biggest problem began when I started to work at my uh, job and I had also to switch my anger uh, to English. Uh, uh, so, in this paragraph they presented what is an informative presentation. And they told that informative presentation includes presenting formal and informal requirements and they also explained what those requirements mean but I don't remember every detail which I read there 15 minutes only through our class <laughs> you already stopped making your mistake absence absent Absent-minded, abstain, abuse, accept, baby, bachelor, back, backbone, background, damage, dam. Danger, dear, daring, dark, 
gratitude, grave, gravel, pancake, paradise, parcel, participate, parting. What is the presentation? One of our colleagues once defined it as everything that comes between I want to say a few words and are there any questions? Where are obviously countless opportunities to speak in public? So I read an introduction. What is the public speaking? And they told that the speaking begins with the presentation and ends with the questions. So everything between the start and the questions is considered as a speech. And there are many reasons where we would want to use the public speech, like in a comedy, in funeral, wedding, many ceremonies, and there are also many reasons why we do this speech. We want to persuade people, entertain them. So the speech is very important. And also there are some books which described public speaking, though I don't remember the names. My speech was very good, though I was not sure about some facts. So I changed one thing, but I changed it confidently. So surroundings are really dark, so I cannot see everything. I think they are of a high social class and they belong to some sector, at least they look so. Other woman wears an interesting white hat. This probably means something. There are some signs on the top of your forehead. And she also explains something to the younger woman. So she seems to be more wise and maybe she gives some good suggestions. Now the scene shifted to another one. There is a priest talking about the things which happened in the kingdom. No, I didn't have any problems, although I was quite focused on the movie, but I still kept focusing on words also. So I start stuttering at about three or four years old, and now I'm 27, so it's been a while. My first therapist were made when I was nine years old, around that age. I tried a couple of hypnosis. I think, and my parents thought that they helped, but they helped like for one day and they just minimized my stutter, but they didn't remove it. My teacher used to clap me if I said something good without a stutter. And that was quite abusing, although after some time I didn't felt that bad in my high school. I could speak in some situations quite well, although I had problems in exams and especially when I had to switch to another language. Also, I used a couple of DAP devices. Like I use a program Brief Maker, which is a DAF, and you have to practice each day for two hours or a little bit less. But the effect of it wear off quite quickly. In a couple of weeks, it seemed like it was working less and less for me. Then I also bought a portable DAF device. I think it's called Stud Free. 
So that advice, that free, helped me also maybe for three months. It didn't eliminate my stutter, but what it did, it lowered it. So I felt more confident using that advice. But after three months, again, the effect wore off and I even stopped using it at all. Also, it really depended on the language which I spoke. When I had to speak more English, then my language became worse. Well, when I spoke my native language with my parents, girlfriend and so on, my speech was better, although it wasn't perfect. I still stuttered depending on the day. So now for a couple of days, I don't stutter at all. Though still, I made some mistakes according to the system I've been taught. But my speech is really good. I talk maybe to nine people so far and so far so good. Also, um, I had a big fear of telephone call today and yesterday I made a couple of them. I liked it, although they were short calls and I was a little bit afraid before doing them, but they went very good. So currently, my speech is very good and I hope that I can keep it like that in the future. It affected my life both consciously and unconsciously. I mean, I tried to avoid some situations. Also, I wasn't very social person. And I think also it influenced some choices subconsciously, like how I chose my profession and things like that. Also, I avoided to do public speaking in the classrooms, in the university. I used to give assignments to other people. So I invested more time in preparing everything. So writing reports and doing more investigation while I gave the presentation to somebody else. When I could present it better than somebody else, when I felt that I put a lot of effort in that war. Uh, now, Paul, we want you to improvise. We, we want you to make uh, three different speeches. One speech is going to be in uh, English language, your second language. The other speech will be in your native language, Lithuanian. And also, you're going to try to make uh, one speech in Russian language, which you practically don't speak, just a little bit, right? So, <laughs> please try three different speeches. Go ahead. So firstly, I have to say that when I saw this program on a Facebook group, I was very skeptical about it. And now it really works. And I'm very happy with the results I made so far, because I'm totally fluent at the moment. Facebook. Tačiau rezultatai mane labai nudžiugino ir dabar aš kalbu iš tiesų neimikščiaudamas. Ja hotel bus kazat, što kada pervi ras ja uvidel etu programu na Facebook grupi, ja bil očin skeptical na šiot etoj programi, no si čas, kada ja poprogoval, Я могу сказать, что у меня больше нет заикания. Я говорю то, что я хочу.